Hey Cancer! Thank you so much for joining me for your November Terrascope. Happy November. Happy almost Thanksgiving, kind of. <laughs> um, and in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I just wanted to say before we start, um, a really heartfelt thank you from the bottom of my heart. Kitty tail. Hi Kitty. She wanted to come up for the thank yous and thank you as well. Um, I really do though want to say thank you to those of you who have um, watched, whether this is your first time or if you've been supporting and watching the channel for a while. It really means a lot. Every like, every subscribe, every comment, like every share, it really, really does. I know that, you know, you hear everybody asking for those things, but it really, it makes a difference. Um, so thank you. And um, to those of you who have even gone so far as to book a personal reading, you really are literally helping me make my dream come true, my ultimate big dream. So I really appreciate that. And I just wanted to shine a little bit of that on you before we get started with your reading. I'm sure there will be many, many things here to be thankful for for you, Cancer. So let's see. Let's begin to look into it for you moon children. What is it that my Cancer friends need to know? in the month of November for their highest good, for their highest good, November 2017, for Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, what do they need to know, Spirit, for their highest good, what are the energies, the characters, what kind of influences can they expect to run into this month, and what do they need to know about them? in order to live their best life. There you are, Cancer. And there goes Thurman, my senior cat. by Thurman Merman. <laughs> Got a little one right here, all feisty, trying to like eat my cards. Really, it's really weird, but uh, her name is Derpy. You may have seen her on Instagram or Facebook if you follow me there. Um, I know her name sounds a little cruel, but it's totally appropriate. And uh, she's in love with my perfume. It is the weirdest thing. As soon as I put it on, she's like all over me. And right now she's just, she's just going to hang with us, waiting until I drop my guard to see if she can like, I don't, I can't even tell you, run up on my face, nip me. She's done all kinds of things. All right. I know you like it. I know. <laughs> I kind of wish you could see her because she just looked at me, looked at my wrist, looked at me, looked at my wrist like, you're keeping it from me, you jerk. And I am. <laughs> okay, Cancer. Wow, beautiful. Cancer, November. What do they need to know, Spirit? Cancer in November 2017. Cancer, November. What do they need to know, Spirit? For their highest good. For their highest good. Beautiful. Okay, just a couple more for Cancer, please, Spirit. And I promise I will pan down in just a second and show you your cards, Cancer. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Really looks beautiful. I only see a couple of areas with kind of, you know, what I might call static. Some of you, you know, and this is the point where I should say Cancer, these are general readings um, and because this is not like a one-on-one, -on -one, I do get um, several messages for all the various Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising that are tuning in. Um, so I want you to really trust your own intuition and feel into which messages resonate for you. And if one doesn't, like then, you know, just kind of chill about that one and realize that it's for another cancer entirely and kind of let that go and just follow the thread of your reading. Follow the messages that Spirit is working to get to you and just kind of bear with me in the fact that we've got more than one cancer listening to this. Okay, so the reason I say that, I feel that some of you many, many, many of you actually are um, in a position of stalemate right now, of like stuck, feeling stuck, feeling like damned if I do, damned if I don't, you know, if I go this way, this happens, if I go this way, this happens, so I'd rather just stay right here like this and like block off anything from happening. Um, 
I feel like this is a situation that needs to be kind of, um, kind of taken head on. You are up against a lot. It is a lot on your plate. It's a lot on your mind. Um, you know, you're one against many. Look at your one wand up against these other six. But you gotta break down the walls, Cancer. And Spirit, when I say that, is saying like, yes, they're showing us an external wall, but this is an internal wall. You need to do a little breaking through within yourself. It is, you know, this is a choice. Not choosing is a choice. And Cancer, you're a cardinal sign. Um, you can be mutable, cardinal, or fixed in astrology. And you happen to be a cardinal sign, which is the sign of leadership, the sign of taking initiative. It doesn't suit you to stay stagnant. And that's why I feel many of you are leaving. Uh, leaving that situation or just that mindset, okay? Um, why do I say that? Well, I should pan down and show you your cards, huh? Okay. Get ready for a lot of face, Cancer. If you haven't been here before, here comes like a ton of face and you're just, you're just gonna have to deal with it. It's a side effect. Okay. You can totally send me your skin and teeth analysis, possibly some stitching ideas for my outfit. All right, <laughs> let's do this. Okay, Cancer, so you can see now why I see very, like, many beautiful things for you. The sun, the magician, the ten of cups. Like, this is good stuff. Two of cups, two, ten of cups, wow. <clears throat> I feel that many of you are recognizing that you've been kind of waiting around. And, you know, I don't mean this with any kind of judgment. Spirit never gives me any of these messages with judgment. They love you unconditionally. You can do whatever you want. But notice how the figure in this card is sitting there with her blindfold on and her arms crossed, like she's not tied up, nobody's, you know, guarding her or anything like that. Um, by all accounts, she appears to be sitting there willingly, just crossing her arms, keeping that blindfold on because not knowing is scarier than knowing and not doing, I'm, I'm sorry, I mean like knowing is scarier than not knowing and not doing is easier than doing. Um, but a lot of you are really done with that. Look at the sun coming right after that blindfold being like, nope, like time to turn the lights on. It's time to come at this head on. It's time to get very honest. It's time to take initiative. This is you looking at the path, Cancer. You have the world in your hands. See, and the other hand open and ready for something new. It's out there if you're willing to go. It's out there if you're willing to risk it and if you're willing to be open to be yourself, to show off your talent, honestly. And I know show off is kind of like a triggering phrase for some people, but really that's what the sun and the magician are both all about. It's like, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I have to give. That's not necessarily arrogant or egotistical. It's just like, this is me. Uh, I acknowledge like these amazing skills. I acknowledge that this is what I want. Like, this is what I want to do and just doing it. Just doing it. No, no more of this analysis paralysis. You know what I mean? No more of this waiting around for whatever kind of permission maybe that you've been waiting for. It's on. Trust your intuition, Cancer. You know you're an empath. Um, wow, Spirit just said you're a sponge and that can be the problem when you really are sponging up and picking up just everybody's everything around you, of course you get confused. Of course you don't know which way you should go if like when really you're feeling as strongly as your own impulses, the impulses of your partner. Um, for many of you, it is your romantic partner. For some of you, it's a different kind of partnership, but I definitely am feeling that there's something about one-on-one. -on -one. So here's something important, Cancer. You know, you're the mother of the Zodiac. You're a sweetheart, and as I already said, an empath. You cannot exist without feeling the feelings of others. You know, for the, like 99.9% .9 of you out there who don't have like some really major like Aries or like other, other um, influences in your chart that kind of blot that out. Um, and 
some of you have children, some of you don't. I want you to imagine whatever your situation that, you know, you've just had a baby, your first baby. And baby has gotten, you know, just a few months old and, and they're getting to that point where they're going to start trying to walk. And you notice that, you know, they're starting to stand up and hold on to things, and pull themselves up and trying to like take that walk forward. Now, every instinct in a mother, in any, you know, in a parent for their child says, oh my God, don't let them get hurt. You know what I mean? Like, don't let them fall down. Don't let them bump their head. Don't let them scrape their knee. And yet you have to fight any instinct to like stop them from doing what they're doing just so they don't hurt themselves because that pain, quote unquote, that exercise, hi derpy, is essential for them to learn how to walk. You're not going to grab them and be like, no, no, sit down here, like, don't move, like, don't learn how to walk because you might scrape your knee or fall on your butt along the way. Scraping your knee and falling on your butt is just part of the journey to learning how to walk. So for those of you who have been maybe sticking around or not speaking your piece in a situation and kind of maybe letting your partner get away with some, like, crappy behavior or you just have not stated your needs or you're going along with something you don't really feel good about you got to speak your piece and you have to know that you're not being cruel you're not hurting other people by helping them grow by letting them get their lessons okay you can't get in the way of these people going through certain things and experiencing certain things and <sighs> tough things you know what i mean you got to sometimes <laughs> walk away when things get stagnant when things aren't growing anymore if you've noticed that a person or a project in your life really isn't growing anymore and isn't giving you the nourishment that it really once did um, it's time to turn and to nurture yourself it's time to seek things and relationships that really fulfill you and return the favor you know a one-way street there's no, there's no connection. This has to go both ways, you know, like a closed circuit, negative and positive. Like we charge each other up. This cannot be a situation where you're charging up the other person always or vice versa and never in return. Um, okay. So spirit is showing me that when you're, you allow the people in your life to get the lesson to like, um, in some cases it's kind of like, and especially for those of you that really are mothers or fathers, sometimes, um, you have to let your kids figure things out for themselves. Um, so whether it's your child, your partner, your colleague, let this person figure their stuff out kind of step back and give them that that room to discover that they can, just like the mother with the kid. You know what I mean? Like, let them fall down, scrape a knee, but then by the end of it, know how to walk and do this for themselves. You know, you kind of have that martyr complex sometimes of like, let me give absolutely everything. But then you end up like this, like, like, okay, what was all that for? So don't martyr yourself, Cancer. Like, your mantra for the rest of the year is relationships go both ways. Like, love goes both ways. Up and down, back and forth. Like, because look at what you have here. My cup runneth over. So much happiness, so much love. This is like uh, weddings and falling in love and celebrating just enormous occasions. I mean, it is, it's Thanksgiving if you're in America. Um gathering around with the people that you love. I feel like many of you are getting applause and celebration. So some of you are making a debut of some kind this month. Um, it looks wonderful. It looks fantastic and it looks nourishing. It looks like it nourishes you. Um, toward the end of the month, Cancer, 
it's going to be time for you to take stock. I'm feeling like maybe around, the, I don't know why they're giving me this date, maybe because it's like going to be the last week in, in um, I was going to say in Thanksgiving, in November, but they're giving me November 23rd. So maybe around the time of November 23rd, for some of you, you're really looking back on, some of you, you're looking back on this debut, thinking about how it went, thinking about how much work you put into it and what the result was and <clears throat> what you will change or what you will do different, <clears throat> excuse me, differently or the same in the future based on how it went. Looks like for most of you, it goes pretty beautifully. Regardless, of what it is that you are, you're definitely bringing an idea to life this month. You have the Magician here, powerful card, Cancer, and right next to the Queen of Cups of trust your intuition. Trust your intuition and make your idea real. Many of you are realizing literally, re see this kitty, it's my perfume, hi babe. Thank you for kitty kisses, don't go nuts. I know you wanna go nuts. She's like, oh my God. Okay, sorry. My point is whether you were debuting something or trying a new habit, or whatever way in which you break the stalemate and move forward this month, Cancer. I feel like take stock and notice what changed based on your new behavior. Like if you institute a new habit this month that you've been waiting on instituting and feeling like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, and then finally going for it, notice what changed. Really take stock. You reap what you sow. That is what this card represents. So, so good things. So things that you actually really want to reap later. Like they say about the whole, you know, you make your bed and then you lie in it. Like, make it a really beautiful, fluffy, soft, awesome bed. Okay, Cancer? Okay. The reason I say I do feel a lot of you are moving forward in November is that I have the Two of Wands here, and then I have the Three of Wands here at the end of your reading. Three of Wands is the next logical step. Two of Wands is like, I'm looking at the path, I'm thinking about it. Three of Wands is like, I hear the call, I'm going. Like I have set a foot onto the path and we are going, followed by the Fool. Followed by dropping dead weight and baggage and moving forward on a new adventure. So some of you complete a cycle in a big way in November, whether it's you're making that debut or you're leaving that relationship or that dead end job behind. Many, many, many of you are like releasing yourself from some shackles and walking out into the sun. like. Clean slate, tabula rasa, where do we go now? This is gonna be fun, let's go. Um, hmm. I feel like many of you are creating something really wonderful for yourselves and the, the wonder and the joy comes out of making a change. Comes out of getting out of your rut and finally overcoming that kind of inertia. You know what I mean? That feeling when you're in the car and you're wearing your seatbelt. Hopefully you're always all wearing your seatbelt. And you're going really, you know, let's just say you're going fast and then all of a sudden like yellow turns to red and you have to brake really hard in order to, in order to stop in time. And that inertia is that feeling of Ugh! like when you come up against the seatbelt, like, oh my God, like you got to get that, get it going. <laughs> you got to like turn over the car, cancer, turn over the car. Um, because you're going somewhere magnificent. Just make the choice, bring it to life. Like it looks so good. I see no hesitation about make your thing happen. Bring your thing out into the world. Show us what you got, magician. Like bring the idea out of your mind. Some of you are doing NaNoWriMo. You know what I mean? Like some of you are doing the National Novel Writing Month thing and we wanna see it. Go magician, show us your work. <laughs> okay. So now let's do your fiercely focused spread. Let's look at a theme for your month and the steps that spirit advises you to take for your highest good. And if you haven't been here before Cancer, this is just a quick five card reading. First we pick a theme for your month and then the action steps when it comes to Body, mind, heart, and soul. <laughs> Money, relationships, work, spirituality. All the things. Okay, and I think that I want to look at you, Cancer. So prepare for all of the face. All the face. Deal with it. Sorry about the bug eyes. I always think of um, 
Ghostbusters and Janine. Sorry about the bug eyes thing, I'll be in my office. Okay. So what's the theme for Cancer this month? Cancer, sun, moon, and rising. What do they need to know in November? Cancer. You're ruled by the moon, Cancer. The moon says mystery. The moon says things are still evolving. Things are still shifting. Um, moon also says trust your intuition. It says that trusting logic in this moment isn't really going to do anything for you anyway. You kind of have to trust spirit. Just said your dreams. And I don't mean like, ah, oh, my dreams. I dream of doing this. I mean literally like your dreams. Like notice what you dream about. Um, if you're really dedicated, you'll make notes in the morning. And this is just like a pro tip for those of you who do want to do more... Um, do more dreaming in general, but also lucid dreaming and on to like astral travel and things like that. Make it a habit to get up and write down your dreams even when you didn't dream. Like just make it a habit to wake up and like if it's in the notes phone on your app, that's cool. I'll speak into mine and then find gibberish later, which is always fun trying to figure out what that was. But, um, but using your notes app, which you can speak or type into or literally just having a notebook by your bed, date. And even if you dreamed like nothing that you remember or literally dream nothing, nothing. Don't, I don't remember any of my dreams. Just make it that habit because then your mind is geared and ready. I'm gonna recall and I'm gonna write it down. Like you start making it into just a rote habit, okay? So trust your dreams. Trust that the journey is still unfolding. There is more yet to be revealed. I also always find that the moon comes up when the person that I'm reading for hasn't necessarily made their decision yet. So they are still evolving, shifting, changing, things are moving, your free will is everything. Get in deep touch with yourself this month, Cancer. Get in deep touch with your heart, take a long bath or meditate, pray, whatever it is, take some quiet time for yourself to really tune into you. Do what feels right more than what you think. You know what I mean? Like I said, logic is really not going to be the thing this month. This, this is something of the heart and soul. So go deep. You're good at that, Cancer. Okay. So now let's look at the practical, the earthly element, your money, your job, your physical health. What is spirit? <laughs> what does Cancer need to know, spirit, in the month of October for their highest good? Cancer, in November. Hone your craft. Eight of Pentacles says, if you want it, you can have it. You just have to sit down and work at it. You gotta build it. This is like um, what they were saying about habits earlier. This is like the card of good habits. This is the card of like, I am the apprentice. I'm dedicated to becoming the master. Again, they're telling me Nano Remo, so there must be a lot of Cancers out there who are like trying to write their book this month. Um, put in the work. Put in the work. It's got legs. It's going somewhere. It's going somewhere that like, you don't even know where it could go. <laughs> and with all those really beautiful cards in your previous spread, I mean, looks like it could be pretty amazing. Looks like it's worth your time. Put the work in. Make a plan. Like they said, reflect on what you've created so far. Plan your work and work your plan, Cancer. That's your, that's your advice for November. And now let's look at the mind. What are you thinking, speaking, hearing about in the month of November? What do they need to know, spirit, for their highest good? Cancer, November. Yeah, okay. So this is about losing battles. This is about uphill battles that are pretty much not worth it. Don't get caught up in any petty bullshit. Don't get caught up in like Facebook comment threads or like, oh, I heard that this person said this, like da 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 da. Not worth your time. This is the card for like, not worth your time. Don't say things out of spite. Don't say things in a moment of hurt that you're gonna regret later, Cancer, that you that does not align with your values, okay? I feel like someone's gonna say or do something really petty this month that's gonna piss you off and I wanna tell you to hold on to yourself, your ideals, your principles, 
and don't just kind of lash out um, because I kind of feel like this sounds messed up, but it's like it's kind of like that's what this person wants in a way, even though, you know, nobody ostensibly wants to be hurt or insulted. I kind of feel like this person wants to see you kind of like thrown off your game or moved down a peg like, see, see, I knew that you were going to bleh, so don't give them the satisfaction. Walk away, be like, agree to disagree, uh, or I'm sorry you feel that way. We can talk about this when we're both cooled off. Just don't. <laughs> don't. I'm thinking of Danny McBride in, I think it's Pineapple Express. Don't. God, I feel sorry for you all with my, like, weird random movie references. But this is me. Okay, Cancer. Now let's look at your relationships, your heart, what's going on with your emotions, your feelings. Well, same card, different deck. Walking away from, hello. Walking away from what's not, what's not worth it. Walking away from those situations and relationships that are not two ways, that are not equitable, that are not harmonious. You're not giving your time to people or things that aren't worth it this month, okay? You're doing Nano Remo, you ain't got time for that. <laughs> okay, Cancer. Finally, let's see what's lighting you up. What's making you feel creative or spiritual? What's, what's bringing out your fighting spirit in November, your passion? What do they need to know for their highest good and do for their highest good? Oh, you're a little bandaged and beat up, Cancer, but you should see the other guy. You won, <laughs> okay? You're closer to the end of this fight than you think, and you're on the winning side. Um, the Nine of Wands says you're closer than you think you are to completion, so don't give up. Don't give up. Hold on. And this should underline the fact that you don't want to be fighting any battles you don't need to fight because you're tired and bandaged and bruised up as it is. You got your own shit to worry about, so you don't need to go playing in the mud with other people. Let other people play in the sandbox. You do your thing. You have amazing cards this month. Happiness, clarity, creation. You're the fucking magician, Cancer. Keep it in mind. Bring what you want into the world and don't let other people kind of uh, infect your mind and infect what it is that you're going to bring into the world, what you're going to speak into the world. You have a beautiful soul, a power of transformation like no other sign. Give us what you got, Cancer. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me, Cancer. I really appreciate you, and I'd love to hear what you think. If you have questions or stuff that really resonated that you want to share, let me know in the comments or find me on social media or you can book a personal reading. All of that info is in the box below. Thanks so much for joining me, Cancer, and I hope I see you in no, whoa, December. Holidays with a Z. I'm already in there. I'm already in there. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Cancer. Peace.